Hey everybody, so um, vlog day five? Five? Yeah, vlog day five. So on our way to pick up um, stationery for the fair. Uh, finally got the new till working, which um, was a big choice. I don't know if I spoke at this already. We decided because we needed something to carry the change, we had always just used a bum bag and, and kind of carry change in that. But what we then realised was that wasn't going to work. So we thought, oh, a lockbox. And then I thought, well, this is the first fair of, of many. Um, and also then for like the centre stuff. So I actually bought a, a digital till and the till has like a receipt machine built inside it. So anyway, bought that. Um, coming off of last night, the event last night, the Borough Bar was just absolutely incredible. It was, um, I can go back and see my previous video, uh, it talks about that and um, some people's negative attitude. But anyway, um, just honestly the best, one of the best crowds I've ever dealt with, the, the, and the spirit world did not let us down, I really, really will say that. I couldn't be more proud in the sense of being a medium by the information that came through to really give specific and unusual evidence, um, which is just a joy, an absolute joy. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, yeah, on my way to get stationary. My wee dog isn't well, she's not been right, so the vet can't see so next week, so it looks like they've been recommended to give her cow paw for pain relief. She did have joint dysplasia, and it turns out now that we are thinking maybe the arthritis that they said would eventually come on early, maybe that she's not climbing the stairs, which is difficult because I have four floors in my house, so it doesn't make it easy with a lot of stairs. So I think if it is something like that, I may have to get a joiner in to retrofit like a small ramp on the main set of stairs that she would be using um, because she's struggling in a big, big way. And then again, I would need a retrofitted ramp at the back step, which is strange to even think about, but if it helps that she can climb using the ramp and maybe like a, a break halfway and then the ramp again, then that would possibly be a good idea. But anyway, that's something. And also there's a footstool to get up onto the, the sofa. I'm probably going to have to buy one of those dog steps. So if anybody knows of any good like dog steps that actually can get up to a good height, because my sofa is quite a high up one. So when you sit on it, like do it properly, like your feet are touching the ground, but you're really upright. Uh, but anyway, I digress. Um, fair wise, I'm pretty much there. I don't think I've got much else to do. I now need to count all the change and organise the change for everybody that's going to pay cash. Uh, but you can pay by cash or card on the door. Um, most vendors will have a card machine. I will recommend you all to please bring cash though. Um, it would be helpful for the people that don't have a card machine. Um, some people who are a little bit scared of card machines or a little bit older and are not great with technology uh, and I don't want you losing out on any of the experiences or the products that you want to buy because people might not have a card machine but I would say the largest 90% of them actually do have. Um, it's been fab like the whole journey and the process has been exciting I'm actually not as stressed as I thought I would be uh, I mean fast forward that to Sunday when we're trying to unload the car with the PA system and the cases of water and because I'm providing all the vendors water I, I, I believe in looking after the people that are there um, I'm trying to give small businesses an opportunity to have exposure and, and make money and and really grow and that's why I take on the undertaking of doing what I'm doing again organizing booking sheets for everybody is allowing them a chance to have something to do as well so that's kind of where we're at um, it, you know having the booking sheets means that they don't need to worry about that because I've done it for them so I've done custom ones for people that ask and I've got blank ones for people that don't and then I, as I say I'm paying a member of staff to work at the booking table to actually deal with the bookings again looking after the people that are there um, and I'm only charging the same price everybody else is charging and I'm, I, I want to feel like I'm going the extra mile for everybody because nobody done it for me I remember being a reader back in the day you know 20 years ago and thinking oh my god you know having to try and make all this up and back then you didn't have computers and home printers you know you had to write something by hand and you know maybe write multiple copies by hand because you know the use of that you need to go to the, the library for a printer and stuff so times have changed where we have the accessibility of things but i'm going to buy a hand stamp i'm going to buy pencils uh i'm going to buy other things that i can't remember but anyway i will update you on the rest soon have a great day